Hey everyone, welcome back. In this hands-on lab, we are going to create BigQuery with Terraform. So let's create a new folder and name it BigQuery. And inside BigQuery, let's copy some files, necessary files, case.json, main.tf, and provider.tf. Let's paste it. And let's delete the old resource block inside main.tf. And as usual, let's go to the Terraform registry page and let's see the BigQuery. And you can see there is a BigQuery dataset and BigQuery data access, BigQuery dataset IAM, job, routine, table, IAM. So we are going to start with Google BigQuery dataset. And in here, is there is some warning. You must specify the role field using the legacy from format owner instead of rules bigquery.data owner api does accept the both format but it will always return the legacy format which results in terraform showing performance permanent diff on each plan and apply operation so i will i always recommend you to read the documentation and all, all always read the warnings because you might confuse something and you might miss something important you can see the example usage of bigquery dataset basic so the Google BigQuery dataset, it is an ID, friendly name, the description, location, default table, expiration, and labels, access, and access, you can see reader, and you can also see the Google service account. And here's some dataset smack, and with the different example usages, you can see, and we also, we are also going to use the Google BigQuery table resource block to create a table. Uh, you can see some details. So let's continue with Google BigQuery dataset and let's go to argument reference. And here you can see the dataset ID required. You can specify max time, travel hours, access, default table, expiration MS. So let's go to Visual Studio Code and here you can simply run, create a resource block and let's name it Google BigQuery Dataset and for the name let's choose BigQuery Dataset uh, TF and here we need to provide dataset ID and for data set id let's let's name it my data set tf and what else we can provide for example let's go to argument reference or we can also use see the example usage let's see we have a data set id friendly name we can also use friendly name and test and can provide description let's copy you can also provide the location and let's copy these arguments and, and paste it here and the friendly name let's say example let's change it let's don't copy as it is example uh, data set and the description is this is a test description let's change it to for example this is victory data set data set from terraform script and we can use the location if you want but it will take uh, the default if you don't specify let's use eu which is euro and default table expiration if you want you can use this and div labels is environment default so we can also i think this is this is just that should be enough for google bigquery dataset let's create another resource block and it will be google bigquery table and name let's say table tf and here we need to provide not name we need to provide table id and here let's say table from please use underscore because as you saw in while we are creating bigquery table from cloud console it says 
shows out the warning saying that you need to use the underscore let's see what else we can use from the google bigquery table resource block we can use the reset id and we can also use friendly name description location now this is a bigquery data set here is a table we can use table id for example bar and we can use time time partitioning the type day labels let's use the labels and table id and if you want you can use a schema here this is i think the default schema we just suggested but let's make it simple uh, if you want you can go and enhance uh, work on your skills this is just a basic example uh, the table ID we have already mentioned it. we don't need it if you want we can specify time practitioning and uh, let's see what it is so here time yeah time partitioning is a uh, is specified it configures the time based pra practitioning for this table structure is documented below we can see it, the field and range is requirement that required arguments so let's leave it uh, we don't need it for now we can use levels and uh, let's leave it default and uh, let's let's run terraform in it let's go to directory cd victory and uh, let's run terraform in it and until it initializes the provider plugins let's go and provide the role for it i am an admin i am uh, I think it's BigQuery admin where we need to provide inside the service account. Click on edit principle and let's add another role. And uh, let's search BigQuery. And uh, let's search again BigQuery. You can see BigQuery admin. It should be enough. Let's click on it save it let's go to visual studio code and here we can run terraform fmt terraform fmt and terraform validate and seeing the missing required argument table tf so in the line 13 we are missing the uh, the required argument dataset id okay we need to provide the set ID here. Of course, we need we should provide it. So Google BigQuery dataset dot dot name. You can see the name here BDTF, and we should provide I think the ID right. Let's go and see. Let's go to table, and here you can see the set ID. dataset id yeah id dataset id we need to provide dataset id not just id let's click on dot and let's write dataset id so that should be correct now let's um, validate and that's also and that's uh i always run through for validate to see that com my configuration is valid or wrong and after that i can for, for example write run to reform plan and then apply and we can apply it let's run it yes you can see apply is complete resource to add it let's go to bigquery here bigquery and inside my project id you can see we have two data sets the one is my data set from cloud console and another one is my data set from terraform you can see inside this you can see table from tf but we don't have any schema here it's empty so you can work on this by your own so this is all about it for this video so don't forget to delete your data sets so it's you just need to write delete delete it 
I'm using Terraform script, you just need to run Terraform destroy and let's confirm it yes and, and cannot destroy instances without setting deletion protection false yeah we need to write here first the deletion protection let let me write it deletion protection deletion protection let's rewrite inside here deletion protection to false and now we can for example terraform destroy and let's see now uh, let's confirm it yes uh, cannot destroy without instance without anything deleting so we have to run for uh, the, it first let's say terraform apply we need to apply it first and then we can simply run terraform destroy you can see it's modified now if i want to run terraform destroy and confirm it uh, let's confirm it and now you will see that it's now destroying so you have to use the list protection to false in order to destroy your resources inside the google bigquery table so this is all about it for this video see you in the next video